Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a gravestone, and I'm going to be showing you kind of a weird way to do it. It's a, it's a little bit different than normal uh, that I normally do on this channel. So, but I, I wanted to put in different kinds of styles, you know, in here. I might put in more realistic style, whatever you guys uh, kind of want. By the way, I mentioned it's Halloween drawings, right? It's Halloween time, so uh, favorite, my favorite, favorite holiday. So let's let's kind of start with it. Let's start with the uh, this right here permanent marker and we're gonna go in the negative shape this time and I'm gonna show you what I mean okay we're gonna be drawing a gravestone and this gravestone I'm gonna do a little different where you're only gonna use this marker but um, it's gonna you're gonna put down a lot of information you can use anything by the way sharpie whatever you want uh, what I want you to make sure is that I want you to make sure that it does have like a pointed edge because that does give you more control <laughs> excuse me it does give you more control and uh, that is uh, at least for me, a big deal, and I think for you, uh, it would be, uh, you know, I think you would agree that control is a lot better. Uh, and I like the thickness of these particular ones for these drawings because I could put down a big mass of black, you know, at some point. Uh, as long as it's not drying out, you know. But you can buy them in bulk, uh, any kind of marker, Sharpie, whatever you want. Uh, I Well, let me show you real fast. Uh, I buy them like this, you know what I mean, over in like Office Depot or wherever. Uh, but that's, you know, up to you. Uh, maybe I'll link on the bottom where you can get them online if, if uh, you want a bunch of them. So, all right, see you guys. I'll uh, see you guys. Wow. Anyways, let's get into it. So, gravestone, headstone shape, down on the top of that. Some grass. With that grass. And now what you're gonna do? Is you're gonna draw the outside of it. Ooh, oh, maybe the spooky aura of the night. Maybe the moon back there. Actually, let's draw the moon like the moon. Um, and then you can put R.I.P. as the usual, rest in peace. If you like, if you like, you can make the font. I don't know, wacky. I'm not super into font, but. Can make it more, you know, put some sharp stuff on it. You know, maybe make it lead or something or a crackle. Anywho, that's up to you, whatever you want. But definitely put a crack on the gravestone though. And I want you, and in case you, you saw it coming, right? You're gonna fill in this entire back area. That's what you're gonna do. And by doing this, you're gonna create a negative space. Uh, it's not that hard, like I said, but it will kind of, it might kill your marker if your marker's already been used a little bit. So, kind of make a decision if you want to do that or not. But it, like I said, it might kill your marker. And I have a bunch of these. Since I buy these in bulk, I don't mind, you know, going through these things. They're, they're pretty cool. They've been a good marker brand. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Go down here. Don't get too desperate either. Like sometimes I'll do that and I'll like accidentally go through the edge of my, you know, my border that I set up, and it's like ah. Oops. Um, gotta figure out what I'm gonna dress like for Halloween this year. Um, last few years I've dressed like Wilfred, uh, Wilfred Dog, but I don't know, I'm gonna change it up this time. That was the last two years, so. So, I don't know. I want it to be a big furry outfit, though. I don't know what it's gonna be, though. Probably like... Maybe just a generic bear or something of that sort. All right, I 
fine. I got generally enough of that filled in. I'm just gonna correct some of these spots I left. See, the reason it goes so fast is because the marker's so, so juicy. You know what I mean? The marker's so... Mine, this one right here is so new that I can do that. So you kind of want to give yourself that kind of leeway. You could even throw some lines here for a stepping stone area. But it gives it a nice, bold kind of look. You know what I mean? And I think, you know, you kind of want that on Halloween. But just kind of remember, that, like, using that negative space back here. And I haven't used any color or anything, but I feel like I already have, like, a little scene there, you know? But anyways, that's it. If you guys did like this, uh, please share it anywhere. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+, uh, wherever. Anytime you share it, it helps me more than anything. Like, the sharing is amazing. I mean, obviously, like it, too. I love that you like it. Uh, press the like button, you know, as well. But uh, sharing it is amazing. Uh, it, it just helps, it boosts this channel every time you do that. So, I appreciate it, guys. And I really, uh, yeah, I appreciate all the nice comments, too. Say hi, and we can chill, and, I mean, chill online, I mean. <laughs> and, uh, all right, talk to you later.